Hey guys, what is going on? This is iAppleGeek, and in this video, I wanted to bring you guys a list of supported tweaks that do work on iOS 10.2. So this is the top 10 tweaks list for iOS 10. All of these tweaks are free, and surprisingly, there are more new tweaks than I expected, so I think you're going to like this list. Of course, if you have not jailbroken your device yet, whether that be an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, I do have a video up here how to do it, so once your device is jailbroken, you can come back and begin your jailbreak journey. So the first tweak on this list is called Lithium Ion. It basically lets you theme your battery icon. So if we go into the settings app and scroll down to Lithium Ion, and in here you can see the theme, and I have the Hebesha theme right here. You can also have a bunch of ions, like right there. Here are the hearts. I know many of you guys who play Zelda probably like this. So not only can you change the battery image, you can also change the battery color. So you can change the main color and the base color. So if I change the base color and I go back here, you can see that my battery icon is kind of purplish blue. I think that's kind of purple. And I can change the main color to, let's change it to green, shall we? And now it's green and purple. Not only that, but there are a ton of other things like charging color, uh, low power mode color it's basically a ton of awesome customization lithium ion if you want to change up your battery go ahead and check this one out all right the next one is by far my favorite aesthetic tweak for ios 10 and this is called sonus it basically replaces that volume pop-up when you adjust your volume and it moves it into the status bar in a very elegant way. I, this is much better than status fall or anything that I've seen out on Cydia and it is so elegant, it's so great. So for example, if I go into an application, let's just say my settings app, and I adjust the volume, check that out, look at it, it is so sleek. And inside of the settings, you can actually customize what it looks like, where it is, how smooth the animation is, or how long it will last in the status bar, and even extras and experimental stuff. There's a ton of stuff I haven't even tried out yet, so ladies and gentlemen, go check this out. Next up, we have a bit of an oldie, it's called Cache Clearer, and you can find it. Once you've installed it, you can go into your settings, storage, and in here, if you tap on an application, it'll allow you to have more options rather than just deleting the app. So if you have Snapchat or Instagram or something that takes up a lot of room because it loads a lot of images and caches with no way to clear it, this is the perfect tweak for you because if you clear this app cache, I'm going to go back in here and refresh, and Snapchat is now back to its normal size, except with some critical documents there. It got rid of 150 megabytes of junk. So if your device can only hold a rabbit, then this is the tweak for you. Next up, we have CC Record. It'll basically add a option to your control center where you get this little FaceTime looking thing. And when you tap on it, it's gonna start recording your screen. That way you can you know, mess around, scroll around. And then uh, once you exit out and come back into control center, hit this again, it'll stop recording and it'll save it to your photo album. So if I come in here to my camera roll, you can see that this video has been recorded and it works just fine. So if you are into recording mobile games, this is the tweak for you. Again, it's called CC Record. All right, next up we have a tweak called Low Power No Lock. This is a very strange name, but it does what it says. So if you go into settings and battery, you know that when you turn on low power mode, it's gonna make your device's screen dim and turn off after only 30 seconds. So if we come in here, you see that auto lock is restricted to 30 seconds. But with this tweak, starting right now, I'm not going to touch my device. This tweak is going to allow us to have like the normal time or no lock at all when you're in this mode. And my device has not turned off yet. So as you guys can see, it works well. So for those of you who are always in low power mode, this is a godsend. And of course, what would a jailbreak be without Cylinder? The ability to change animations when you swipe on the home screen. This is pretty self-explanatory and it has a ton of effects inside the settings application. I mean, I trust that you guys already know what this is and what it does. It's an absolute must have. Next up, we have a bit of an older one inside the photo album. You can go in here and hit select and you can tap on one of these things 
and it will tell you how much space is taking up. So this video that I just recorded of my screen, it is 30 megabytes. So if I select some other stuff like this other video, now it's doubled in size. So this is very useful if you want to know what is taking up a lot of room in your photo album. Next up, we have out of control. You guys may have noticed this um, a little bit earlier on my Wi-Fi toggle. You might be wondering why it's pink. Um, I did not set it to pink. This is the tweak that I'm talking about, and it allows you to randomize the colors. Every time your device restarts or resprings, it will change colors. All right, so I've just resprung my device, and now it seems like the colors have changed. I mean, I don't think that was green before, was it? And this was a lighter pink. Next up, we have bars. It's basically what you've been seeing up here with my signal bars. It's no longer the traditional dots that you see on basically every iPhone. You know, like, you ask someone, how much signal do you have? You don't say, how many dots do you have, like Apple wants you to do, you know? You say, how many bars do you have? Bars, if you like the traditional look from iOS 6, this is the tweak for you. Next up, we have a very, very unique one, and I'll have to take you inside of Safari to see it. So if I go to a YouTube video, let's just say, let's go to my channel real quick, and I'm going to watch a jailbreak video. The only thing is, I am a very busy person. I want to do something else while I'm watching a video, but I can't because this isn't an iPad, right? iPads can't do the picture-in-picture -picture video. This is my iPhone SE. So this tweak called Force in Picture will give you that option that you usually only find on iPads. So if you tap on this, ta-da, you can now watch that video wherever you are on your device. If you have a 6S Plus or a 6 Plus, this will definitely come in handy to take advantage of that larger screen. And we could just tap this little icon to go back into Safari and continue watching. All right, so that is 10 tweaks that work on iOS 10. But if you've been following my channel, you know this is not the end of the video. And for those of you who have watched this video this far, I'm going to give you a few bonus tweaks. And the first one is called a power tap. It's an older one, but it does work on iOS 10, where you tap on the power knob and you have the option to reboot, respring, or enter safe mode. So this is an essential tweak to have no matter what software you're on. Next up, you guessed it, it's five icon dock. It allows you to have five icons in your dock. No duh. And for the last tweak on this list, we have Blord, which allows you to enable the dark themed keyboard across every single app on your device, except Cydia, which is weird. But anyways, guys, that is it for the video. But there is much, much more to come. New tweaks are coming out being updated, and I am very excited to be bringing these to you in the near future, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more tweaks. If you guys enjoy these tweaks, don't forget to hit that like button, that would definitely help me out. And if you do subscribe, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.